How's it going guys and welcome back. In this video, we're going to be checking out a very good late game spot for farming skill points in Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. With this method, we're going to consistently be gaining over 3000 skill points per minute. All we need to do for this is go to the Fountainhead Palace, which is one of the final areas of the game, and go to the Feeding Grounds Idol. If you have not yet unlocked this idol, I will be showing you just in a second how you can get here, but first, let's check out the method itself. From this idol, we're simply going to jump across to this bridge and backstab the enemy sitting at the end of the broken down bridge. As soon as we get the death blow on this enemy, we're going to run back and rest up the idol, respawn in the enemy so we can run back and do the same thing again, and then just keep on repeating over and over again. We gain a whopping 1060 skill points from this enemy alone each single time we kill him, as well as 130 coins. This isn't the best place to farm coins, but it's a nice bonus as well. So we've done the test with the timer, and in one minute we get time to go from the idol, kill the enemy, and back to the idol three complete times, which makes a total of 3180 skill points every single minute, and we can just keep on doing this. On top of that, it's very common to get magnetite scraps from this, so it's a nice way to farm upgrade materials as well. This is so far the best method I've found for late game. I'm still looking into the best farming spots for early and mid game, so if you do happen to have a very good farming spot for early or mid game, or even a better one than this for late game, please do shout in the comments down below. I'd very much appreciate it and I'm sure the rest of the community would as well. And for those of you wondering how to get to the feeding grounds as it is a little bit of a hidden idol, what we need to do is go from the palace grounds idol, backtrack through the building and instead of going left we want to take a right. Once we get outside we want to look back towards the building and we'll see a grapple jump to get onto the roof. From here we want to jump across using the grapple jump again on the tree onto the next roof. Here simply follow the pathway down shown on the video until we drop down eventually onto the feeding grounds idol as we can see here. I've also seen a lot of people online mention about the demon bell that if you've got it active you gain more skill points and more gold coins, but unfortunately for us that is not actually true. The demon bell does not make you get more skill points nor does it make you get more coins. The only reward you get for having the demon bell active is the likelihood of enemies dropping better items. By the way, for those of you who have no idea what I'm talking about, the demon bell is like the champion's covenant of Dark Souls 2 where the enemies become more powerful in exchange of a slight reward. So that is it guys, I hope you did find this video helpful, if you did don't forget to thumbs up button, subscribe for more content coming very soon, and we'll see you next time.